Good evening designer, welcome back to my channel, hope you guys are doing amazing great. This evening I'm going to show you how you can download PSD file for flyer exactly like this on your Android smartphone and how you can present any flyer, any type of flyer on a markup using Photopea. In this tutorial you are going to learn how to achieve this particular markup presentation I'm showing you. Kindly sit down and relax. Watch to the end as I'm going to show you how to achieve this. Thanks. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Without wasting much of our time, let's start with today's tutorial. Take up graphic skills with creativity. Once again, this is the graphic design. So now, what I'm going to do right now is to show you firstly how you can extract a mockup to your phone. The process is almost the same thing with uh, the font extraction. Like I said before, I said when we're talking about extraction, it means it means a file is being zipped. When they zip a file, you need to unzip it. The process of unzipping the file is what we call an extraction. When you extract a file, you are indirectly unzip it. Are you getting it? Because it has been zipped. So when you zip up something, you will close it. So you have to open it to see what is inside. Like for instance, if you buy bread at the market, the bread would put they will put it inside the nylon and tie it together. Are you getting it? When they tie it, you have to untie it before you can hit the bread. The same thing applicable with this process. But we have a particular application that we normally use to unzip. Are you getting it? Which is called Set Archiver, as I taught you in the first video on how to extract phone. So we are using the same Set Archiver to extract our PSD. But the question is, how can we get PSD file? The font, we normally identify font through .ttf or .tf. But the PSD file, we normally identify with .psd, .psd. Any file, we have a particular word, we have a particular identification. If it is a document, you will see .doc. If it is a test, you see .txt. That is a test. If it is a PDF format, you have .txt. PDF. That is what normally end any of the what any of the file for us to be able to know which category they belong to. Without wasting much of our time, let's look at how to get a particular uh, uh, markup. But what really matters is this: at times, not all these markup work on phone. So people might not know. Are you getting it? Although I will just show you how to get one mock-up and now you can extract it now. But it's far better to get the mock-up package. There are some people that they download it the way I want to do it and they select and check them. The one that are good, they keep it. So it's now much with them, like 100, 200, they are selling it at just cheaper rate, 2,000, 3,000, which you can get and use it for business. Compared to when you are searching online, at the end of the day, you download like 10. Even none out of it might not work. So it's better. I do I advise people like that. I bought as well at times. I do buy instead of me looking here and there and I waste my time not even get any. I will get it. It will not work on my phone. But I don't know how they normally do it. They will just search for it. At the end of the day, they will get some that work. Some they will delete it. They are doing it that way. Wasting their megabytes too. At the end of the day, they will sell the one they have. To get them our money back so let's just go i have many sites let's look at the free pick free pick i want to check any uh this thing at free pick let's look at uh, let's say flyer square flyer let's say square square flyer plz file then you search you see there are some there that they put you see there are some sign that is all this one you can download it they have monetized it you have to look for the free one and that is the one i'm looking for so if you don't get any you can come to look at this one let's try this you see this one right i want to use it just click on type don't go to premium go to free 
download let's see whether this one will work you see it will ask you to register i've registered with all my account before but let me use this so then the download we must start at this level are you getting it and if it's not start it means you just log in then you you download you see now it's 48.78 mb i pray it work because it almost selective is at time it is selective but wait is downloading so you see and what did i do well, you know when it put downloading here i just click on the detail it will take me but if you are downloading using your chrome browser just click on these three dots if you don't see it again and come to download click on download then you will see clean minimal square flyer click on it then said archiver will pop up to open it open with said archiver click ok this is where you have to use your you see it's 40 something when it's done downloading it brought 50 but when you see when we want to extract it brought the actual side which is 82 that's the reason why at time when you see 90 you say 90 is small at the end of the day it's multiplied by 2 180 and your file your phone cannot open it that is what you really need to know but now as it is we have to extract it click on three dots select then click on mark you pre click the first mark download it remain last one don't click on anything no just look at any folder here you see download at the top then open it go to your device memory device memory then look at any folder let me create another folder here you can come here create a new folder let's see create new after creating the dot new folder let me now see one two sorry let's see one two i want to see one point two that's the new folder then it open i will click you see extracting it is extracting to that particular folder is done look at the up 1.2 that is the location you will now back you see the 1.2 here why did i do it that way so that when i want to look for it it extract importing it from my photo p i'll be able to know where it is we will now go back the design we make i want to mock it up within much time so you can actually see how i extracted the psd file to my handwritten smartphone now and how i give the folder the name now i can remember quickly now what i'm going to do i want to use that mockup that i just extracted i want to use it or use another mockup and edit it use it to present a flyer on a, this particular photo p so as you can see this is photo p website just click www.photop.com then you run it like this after running it the next thing to do is to click open from computer then when you click you click on file then i have to locate where the markup is you see after naming the markup then i will locate where the markup is then i've seen the markup so i want to bring the markup here so when you import the markup you have to wait wait a little bit and let the markup show this is the markup i want to use and then the next thing to do is to go down at times your layer might not be here if you don't open it but you have to open the layer when you open the layer the next thing is that you see flyer change here flyer change here you can see where i'm trying to highlight you see my the cursor you see it just double tap it like this in two click when it is not it means you didn't tap it very well double tap it again then it will show you see it has sorry this is not what i want to click i want to click on the layer so after you did that then it will bring out another layer and that layer is will be only one then you hide it and at time it might be two when you have a preview if something is there before it will show it so after you are able to do that and you achieve this something like transparent background just click on file click on open and place then click on file again and if your home did not have file you can click on download then what you are going to do is to go to the image go to the pixel lab the sign we just i made i have a pixel lab which is in a4 size then i will import it here 
So after importing it, you can see that it is not really fitting. The size of the mock-up is bigger, is a little bit higher, uh, 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 bigger than the size of the flyer that I use. Then I will use my hand, hold the undo icon that surround it and make it fitting. I will zoom it out like this. So it has a grip. When it's reach the edge, it automatically it automatically stop there so you don't need to extend or zoom it out more than that so you can see everything fitting so the next thing that you are going to do is to scroll down go to where the file is and click on save with smart object you can see my cursor so when you tap it like this then you wait and be looking at your screen the screen of your phone. you see smart object updated then you scroll up a little bit after that the next thing is to click you see a4 flyer at the top and you see layer 12 the first one a4 flyer which is the name i think some mock-up is being uh um is being named some people might edit it to their own you would name it some people will give it a name so but irrespective of any name they gave it the only thing that you need to do or your center of focus is the first layer here just double tap it then your result will come up you getting it because remember uh, the photo p work with the process the last step you did that is the one you will be seeing at times some people will say their own is not turn up their own is not transformed our ah, is not transformed so there's nothing of such remember the first step is the mock-up so if you want to see that first step you have to go back and click on the mock-up because that is your objective. So if you don't click it, you won't see the result. After that, we need to do other things. You can see this mock-up. This is how the problem is. Some people always, uh, they know how to uh, um, present their mock-up to transform it, but they don't know how to edit it. Look at the lines, something like a foot that cover this thing. If you don't remove it, it won't be okay. So you have to come here and you say remove this. It was even stated there, removed. So after you remove it, you see something there. So the next thing, to make this flyer to fold very well, I have to come to the background color. Background color here. You see? This is background color. I will double tap it. Then I will come down. After double tapping it, I will click on blue. Then bring my blue here let me click on blue very well then you click ok you see the color the background color has been changed as you can see you see the background color has been changed so if you want something lighter than that one you can still come there that is exactly how to change the background color don't put tap it then you can be able to come here and look at it again so if it is too deep you can come here reselect another one and click ok let's see is this okay is it really okay if it is not okay to your taste you can see go back go back double tap it then scroll down then select this let's look at it like this is this okay me and provide this a little bit but i will have to adjust it you can still double tap it then come down come down sorry good so let's see this let me go there a little bit down you are touching anything you are touching there you are indirectly using the color picker to pick any color so i'm trying at least to pick the color click ok let's see this is okay i really prefer this but i want you to take the color of the pasta I want it to pick that color of the pasta cloth. So, and I don't want it to be too much light. I want it to be cool. So, let's look at this. I don't want it to be too cool. So, I believe this one is a little bit okay. So, you can adjust it. Are you getting it? You can adjust it to your own desired taste. Adjust it to your taste. You can adjust it the way you want. You see the way I'm doing it. Then after you are able to achieve it, the next thing to do is to save. It. Just come here. Come to export. Then save with PNG. Can you see? So this is just a simple way 
then click on saved then it will bring out download then you download so after that let me see change the color i can still come here double tap so after double tap it i will come down so if i still have another color to use i can use the same color i can use the color that was there before which is something like white then after that the next thing to do is to click ok so you can see so i return back to the color that i used before i can click on multiply and use the darker then you can control everything you want to use the light color when i click on light color you can see the effect so this is exactly how you can watch how you can play with this particular editing i'm talking about you see this one brought out the creamy when i click on divide it brought out something like creamy but it is not the same but i love this a little bit so the next thing you will do is to click on files to change it and this is exactly how i norm i i normally change the background of my design then i will display display it on youtube so then it will bring out the download we have downloaded that one so we can click ok and check how it looks so you can actually see them see it so <clears throat> this is simple way on how you can present your flyer on mock-up how you can present your flyer on the mock-up using <clears throat> your android smartphone using photopi so this is a simple way of achieving that using this particular mock-up thank for watching god bless you